Hello students and welcome to another video lecture on logic design. In this video you are going to learn about binary codes. Binary codes underlies all computer languages which basically mean numeric values are stored using digits 0 and 1. Broadly they are classified as numeric codes and alphanumeric codes. Numeric codes are those codes which represent only numeric information. For example, decimal digits will be represented in terms of zeros and ones. Alphanumeric codes are those codes which represent alphanumeric information that is numbers, alphabets and characters as a sequence of zeros and ones. Numeric codes are further classified as weighted codes, non-weighted codes, reflective codes, self-complementing codes, sequential codes and error detection and correction codes. Weighted codes are further classified as binary and binary coded decimal. In these series of videos you will study examples of all these codes and their representation. Here are the codes that you will study under each of these classification. Let's take a look at a category of numeric codes called as weighted codes. Recollect from the previous diagram that weighted codes are classified as binary and binary coded decimal. By now you are already familiar with the first type of code that is binary. You know that it is a positional weighted code and each column has a weight starting from the rightmost column with a weight of 2 raised to 0 followed by 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4 and so on. You are also by now familiar with writing binary code for decimal numbers and you are also familiar with the conversions. Let's take a look at the second category of a weighted code that is binary coded decimal or BCD. A BCD code is one in which digits of a decimal number are encoded one at a time into groups of four binary digits. In order to represent decimal digits 0 to 9, it is necessary to use a sequence of at least four binary digits to represent decimal symbols. Such a sequence of binary digits which represent a decimal digit is called a code word. In all BCD codes, you have at least six unassigned codes. I want you to remember this term unassigned codes before we can address this further. In this diagram you can see a list of BCD codes which you should be familiar with writing. Example 8421, 2421, 5211, 5421, 642 minus 3, 84 minus 2 minus 1. Let's take a look at the first type of BCD code called as the 8421 BCD code. This code is called as the natural binary code because it looks exactly like the binary code for the corresponding decimal symbol. We use it to basically represent decimal digits 0 till 9. Let's take a look at how it looks. So if these are your decimal digits 0 till 9, these will be the 8421 BCD codes for each decimal digit. Notice here that the 8421 code looks exactly like the binary code for the corresponding decimal digit. For this reason it is called as the natural binary code. 8421 code has a few important properties. It is an example of a weighted code, sequential code and a non-self complementing code. Let us first understand why it is a weighted code. Notice that there are four columns for this code. Starting from the rightmost column, the weight associated with that column is 1. The weight associated with the next column is 2. The weight associated with the third column is 4. And the weight associated with the last column is 8. This code is also called a sequential code. Mainly because the code follows a natural binary sequence for writing. The next property self complementing I will explain using another code as an example. This code has a few advantages. 
Since it is sequential in nature, it can be used for mathematical operations. Also, it is very easy to convert decimal numbers to BCD code as we will see in another slide. It has few disadvantages, namely it requires more number of bits in binary to represent any decimal number and arithmetic is a little more complicated. Before we move on to the next slide, let us recollect the term unassigned codes that I told you to remember in the previous slide. As I mentioned before, in every BCD code, there will be at least six unassigned codes that have no meaning to the code. In 8421, these unassigned codes are 1010, 1011, 1100, 1101, 1101, 1101, 1111, 1111, 1111, 1111, 1111, 1111, 1111, 1111, 1111, 1111, 1111, if 8421 BCD code represents decimal digit 0 to 9, how would you represent the decimal number 14 or the decimal number 14155? As mentioned before, the conversion is very simple. In fact, it's simpler than most conversions. For every decimal digit in the number, simply replace it with its 4 bit 8421 code. So 14 will be represented as First, the code word for 1, which is 0001, followed by the code word for 4, which is 0100. Similarly, the code for 14155 will be written as code for 1, followed by code for 4, code for 1 again, followed by the code for 5, and the code for 5 again. So although 8421 code has the advantage of being easy to convert, it has a disadvantage that it requires more number of bits to represent any decimal number. That's all for now. Stay connected to the classroom for more videos and learning material.